talking about their prequels, sequels, or remakes, um, Fast and Furious. Uh, the first two or three were about racing. What the fuck are we doing now? Like, the first two or three, I'm like, okay, cool. It's about street racing. You know, how dangerous it is. You know, how integral it is to a bunch of different things. Like, illegal parts. You know, different things like that. Now we got Vin Diesel driving through a fucking... A fucking skyscraper in a different fucking country. What the fuck? We got these niggas going to space. We have lost the plot. Mind you, in these movies, when they're flying from skyscraper to skyscraper, the speed of that fucking car and the weight of the people in it was shattered the fucking floor. It just landed on. I promise you, bro. Like, it's mad weird. Like, how did we get from racing to this? And it's like... Can we rewind? Can we get the message? It's, it's, it's pretty much like, how did these motherfuckers know how to break into all this shit? How did they? How did they learn these skills? When did John Cena get involved? Why is The Rock in here? And why is the nigga that's always like, I am the beekeeper? Why is he in this movie? Jason Momoa is in that motherfucker now. I'm like, how much bullshit can they make up in this goddamn studio? And then the thing is, I think most of these actors really think that they're good actors. Not like the Jason Momoa's and other things like that. But The Rock, Vin Diesel, old girl that's Vin Diesel's wife. And then Vin Diesel, in my opinion, is the king of one-liners. Literally, all he says in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for Groot is, I am Groot. Like, that's literally bar for bar his entire script. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Like, he doesn't have to do too much. I could do that. In Riddick, he's one-liner. People get stuck where they don't want to be. But I'm right where I want to be. Like, what the fuck? Vin Diesel has lines like that. Yeah, no, Fast and Furious. Y'all got to wrap this shit up, bro. It's... Them niggas was in space. In the 10th movie. There's no way in hell Dodge Durango should be in space. There's no way in hell a Camaro is able to be in space and y'all somehow get them niggas down without them dying plus them two characters are fucking black Tyrese character and Ludacris character I'm telling you right now nobody black is going into space in no fucking car that has common sense it's very far and few in between we do anything that is risky let alone go into space in a fucking Camaro with a duct tape space suit I promise you nobody black is signing up for that shit Cut this shit off. Cut this shit off.